When we think about primates in space, we usually think of Ham and Enos, the two chimps NASA launched in advance of its Mercury astronauts in the early 1960s. But more than a decade before these famous chimps took flight, scientists launched rhesus monkeys on V-2 missiles. All named Albert, they were among the first casualties of the early space age. Within a year of the Second World War's close, America imported more than 100 German rocket engineers and tons of V-2 missile parts and supporting documentation. Both men and machines were sent to the White Sands Proving Ground in New Mexico, where the V-2s would be studied, repaired when necessary, assembled, and launched as part of Project Hermes. Within Hermes were a number of spin-off programs, including the Blossom Program, which was a biological series of launches designed to help gather data for future spaceflight. The idea was to send small primates and animals on suborbital flights to gather data that might apply to future human space travelers. These Blossom V-2s were specially modified. They carried different warheads than the standard missile and boasted fuselages 65 inches longer than the standard V-2 rocket. And four of these Blossom rockets had rhesus monkeys named Albert on board. Albert I launched aboard V-2 number 37 on June 11, 1948. The missile reached an apogee of 39 miles, but Albert I didn't make it. He succumbed to respiratory issues inside his cramped capsule, but he probably wouldn't have survived anyways. The parachute designed to deliver him safely back to the ground failed. Albert II launched on V-2 number 47 on June 14, 1949. He fared slightly better than his predecessor, surviving launch to reach an apogee of 83 miles. But again, the parachute recovery system failed, and Albert II was killed instantly upon impact with the ground. A slight silver lining for the scientists running the test was that all the biomedical instrumentation on board had transmitted data throughout the flight. Albert III launched on V-2 number 32 on September 16, 1949, but he didn't last long. This V-2 suffered a tail explosion 10.7 seconds after liftoff and was destroyed just three miles above the launch pad. The monkey was killed in the explosion. Albert IV, who launched on V-2 number 31 on December 8, 1949, suffered a similar fate to Albert II. Albert IV survived the launch and reached an altitude of 79 miles, sending biomedical data to scientists the whole time. He too was killed when his parachute system failed. The Albert's gruesome deaths underline just how immature the science of rocketry and rocket testing was in the late 1940s. It also underscores just how far rocketry had come by the time NASA was ready to launch men on the same suborbital flights in 1961. Leave questions or comments below, and for weekly Vintage Space updates, don't forget to subscribe.